I'm just a little in awe of how those are all taped together like that. Um, that's pretty awesome. <laughs> Scary, but awesome. Yeah. Well, it is another hot day in Las Vegas and uh, it is not, it's only 11 a.m. and it's saying 110 on my car temp. I might be listening just a little bit. <laughs> it's okay, we gotta go shop. I am going on a trip next week. I'm not sure when you're gonna see this video. No, you won't see this next week. You're gonna see this video this week. Anyway, I have to get ahead on my videos to keep my daily video content going. And so that means I need to hit at least three Goodwills today. I gotta hit at least three. My aim is four, if my camera holds out. Uh, but that's the goal today. Go and see what we can find, which means I need to be pretty picky too. Because if I'm not picky, I'm gonna, I'm gonna load up my car way too much. Now, behind me, you might see packages. So my first stop is to drop off all of these packages at the post office so I can show you a little bit what the back side of the post office looks like. I think I can do that. I don't, I don't think they'll mind. I'm gonna ask permission. If you don't see that, that means they said no. If you see it, well, you'll see it. All right, let's get on the road. So this is where I come to. You can see behind me there's the bins and you either put your stuff in the first class one or the priority one that's over there. And you can see I get to back right up to the loading dock here and we're all done and now we're gonna put the door down oh and it's time to go shopping now okay I have arrived I am at the Goodwill that is the farthest away from me I figured you know I'll start the farthest and work my way back towards home this is the Goodwill that I found the ginormous clamshell it is also the Goodwill that I have found American Brilliant, so I'm always excited to get over here and see what goodies they might have for me this time. So let's get in there and see what we can find. All right, let's pick out a good one. All right, first thing I spot is these look like myrtle wood. I don't like the metal and I don't like the fact that the wood doesn't match. So I think I'm gonna leave them for that reason, but they did they did catch my attention. Cute. Ooh. Hello little swan. You say Looks like House of Lloyd's, 89. Oh, somebody had a dollar at their yard sale. All right, Let's see what else we can, ooh, I see a fish. I see a big fish. I thought he was gonna be lightweight and wood, but he's not, he's really super heavy. So we're gonna leave him. Nice little, oh, he was a dollar 99. I guess he's very like stylized, very clean lines on that one. This is alabaster. He does have a little broken wing, but you know what? This is the perfect thing for me to give away and find it a new home at one of my live sales. It's only 99 cents. So I am gonna find this little birdie a new home at one of my live sales. All right, let's see what else. We can find. They are playing some good music in the background, but I hope, I hope you can't hear it too much because that just causes all kinds of problems when I am editing the video. All right, so far, not finding any <laughs> poor little frog. No major scourges yet. But hopefully, 
There'll be something good hiding in all amongst the mediocre stuff. Look at this bunny. How cute is he? He's just chilling. He's a home goods. He is really cute, but we're gonna leave him. We're gonna leave him, but he is really cute. What are you? You look like a gymnast. Angel. <laughs> I'm not sure. All right, and there's a kangaroo. Hand painted. Wait, this might not be so bad. Everything Australian. It's green tag, which means it's half price, which means it's a dollar fifty. You know what? I like him. I'm gonna get the kangaroo. All right, we're over in the little fake plants. You know, I've always got to look at my little fake plants. And since these are only ninety nine cents, I can use some more greens. Those are coming with me. All right, let's see if there's any cool pottery today. I kind of, kind of like this piece, but as you can see, it's nothing that special. And we are looking for special today. Only special is what we want. It's kind of interesting, but it's not super special. So we're going to leave it. Looking up there, nothing exciting. All right, clear. Let's see what we, oh, this is Lennox Butterfly Meadows. I have sold every piece of this I have ever picked up. This one's 10 bucks and it's a small shippable size of the canister. So I am gonna get that. I did find this little vase here. It's got really cool handles, but what caught me was kind of the, I think those are acorns. And then I turned it over and see that it is made in Japan. So it is a vintage piece. It's got the design on both sides. It's in pretty good shape. Gotta look at this stuff close for cracks, but $4.99, so I am gonna pick that up. So I moved some things around and I did see we've got a piece of Hager. Now the problem is it's just a plain black, nondescript piece of Hager. I mean, it's it's a bit too big for me to want to ship it, and it's not real desirable for the booth, so we're gonna leave that behind. But it just shows they do have Hager in the thrift stores. You can find it. All right. Ooh. Twelve graphic sketching. Well, you know, I'm gonna have to look and see if that's in there and pick those up for 99 cents. I spotted this is a planter 75th anniversary and on the bottom it's dated 1981. So it's half price so it's two bucks. I think I'm gonna go ahead and pick that up. All right we are off to the metals and nothing's Really grabbing my attention. Well, nothing, nothing, nothing. And it's really difficult because my very favorite song of all time is playing right now and I usually sing along to it. But I can't do that. Ooh, those are kind of nice baskets. But I don't think they're anything special. I may give them a better look. <clears throat> but look at this chicken. Look at this chicken. I found a chicken yesterday too. Oh, he's got a big boo-boo right there. But he is wood and that could be pretty easily fixed. So for six bucks, I think I am gonna pick up the big chicken. Okay, there's gonna be a lot of Christmas in these stores because they put out all their Christmas. He's a 2020 barista bear for $3.99. So I have a whole bunch of these to list. So it's a cell similar. Pretty super simple, so I'm gonna pick him up. So I had a few critters show up in my cart. Um, this is actually a Build-A-Bear Rudolph. This is an easy $20 bill, and he's $5. And then I couldn't put back the little Raffia Fox for $3.99. I know, I'm a sucker, he's just too cute. 
And I also, uh, there's a story behind this little critter here. He is a Coles. Um, he is from the Grinch that stole Christmas. He's the poor little dog. And I actually played this character in a fun little pantomime thing that I did at the Vegas Video Network. So that just has some special meaning for me and I'm keeping him. All right. Let's see what other goodies. They always have some really pretty stocking holders. I love this brass reindeer, but I'm just not ready to start stocking up on Christmas so much yet. Coming soon. You know, those guys are really cute too. Ugh, I just can't. I just can't get a ton of Christmas yet. Unless it's for my Christmas in July sale. So it's got to be nice, easy to ship stuff. But I am going to look at Tinkerbell snow globe. She's a little yellowed. I gotta be careful. I don't want her to fall out of this package, which it looks like she could very easily. They're asking $7.99. Hmm. I don't know. She's a little yellowed. I think that's gonna hurt her saleability. So I'm gonna leave her for somebody else. Okay. I did find a couple of things. This is a really cute little primitive chicken wire looking Christmas tree thing that was made for Joann's stores. I don't see a year on it, but it was 20 bucks. And they are, they are selling it for, there we go, $5. So I like that. And then this guy, again, irresistibly cute. He's a tin. He's like a three dimensional tin and he's $1.99. So I'm gonna get him too. They do have some cute mugs. Look at this little guy. Very, very cute. Actually, there's, there's two of them, look. Put you over there by your friend. That could cause somebody to wanna buy you. These are kinda nice. Ooh. That says HH, Houston Harvest. I kinda like him, but not enough to buy him today. This is, what's that artist name there? Elaine somebody. That's a really nice mug for 69 cents. I'm gonna pick that one up. And I just pulled two of these off the shelf. They were a nice mug to begin with, but even nicer when you see 2006 Starbucks for 69 cents. And I got two of them. Then this one caught my eye. It says a handcrafted in Italy for sur la table for 69 cents. So I grabbed that one too. And then this one grabbed me in with the cats, with the moon, and then with the Santa for 69 cents. It's a Cypress Point. Yeah, we got to get that one. Okay, I spotted these plates. They're by Canterbury Potteries, The Art of Rob Geary. There's four of them and I think they're all different. They're wonders of Nature, $5.99. I cannot bring myself to leave them behind. I have to get them. And I just found a Mickey Mouse Christmas canister. It looks to be in really good condition. It's by Zach. It is $5.99. We are going to pick that up. And I think we're gonna get this cookie jar right next to it for $7.99. This would have been a really good find without the big old chip on it. It's a Lennox Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer plate, but sadly, it's got that chip, so it's a no-go. Okay, dokie, not seeing anything else too spectacular. Oh, a parrot did jump into my cart too. That'll be for Rachel. Since I can't get her the real one yet, we can get her a plushy parrot. That'll keep her happy for a while, trust me. She's a pretty easy to please kid. I'm pretty blessed. That's cute. Ooh, I see some little vintage angels for $2.99 each. Let's get them out here so we can admire them fully. Yes, those will go in my cart. Okay, I looked through 
nativity stuff. It was all pretty modern. I all was looking at nativity stuff because nativity things can sell really well. And I also collect some nativity sets. So that is just something I look at no matter what. Little Christmas tree plates. Oh, they're little uh, hobbyist pieces. We got a Christmas goose. Oh, he's very, he's very resin. We have a, do we have a naughty little child in a cage? <laughs> or is it an ornament? Hmm. All right, not finding anything over in this section, except these were kind of interesting. Not marked. They're $3.99 each though, so that's $8 for the set. So that's what makes me kind of leave it behind. All right, now we're in the regular mugs. Last minute gift. That's pretty true. Oh, too bad you're so beat up. Mugs are great gift items. That is why we sell so many. Dutch Wax. Why do I know that name? Is this the one that Tiffany from Thrifting Vegas was just talking about? Hmm, it's $1.99. It's a pretty mug. I can do something with that no matter what. So I'm gonna pick it up. I think I just found a match to the other one that I picked up. This one has a little tiny glaze chip on the top, but that's not a big deal. So now I have a pair of those Italian mugs. That makes me happy. I see some other things here. I gotta go back for like, oh my gosh, look at the little tiger here. He is $3.99 and he's not very good quality. So we're gonna pass on him. What else did I see? Maybe it was over here. Ooh. I like these. Be you, be kind. These are made by Boston Warehouse. Okay, sorry kitty cat, we're pushing you aside for a minute. Be you, be kind, be sweet. I don't know if there's another one. We're gonna look for another one, but these are $1.99 each. I, I kind of love them. I'm gonna get them. So they're bringing out carts of stuff and I just pulled this off of there. It is a Garfield mug. Looks pretty brand new for 69 cents. And then I also found this really adorable lamp with a snowman and a little baby bird. And he is $5.99. So those just came off the cart. They're pulling cart after cart after cart out. I found a little Joy mug. It is a uh, Christian art gifts. And since green is half priced, it is only 35 cents. Doesn't look like it's ever been used. So I'm gonna pick that one up. And then up here, I just wanted to note this Gary Patterson kind of oversized tankard mug. I have sold these in the past, but they take a long time to sell. So $1.99 probably, you know, would bring some decent money, but it takes a long time to sell in my experience, so I'm leaving it. Okay, we're looking through the glasses. I did, I'll have to show you what I put in my cart um, because I kind of snagged him right as he was bringing him to the shelf. But I found some really cool glasses so far. Ooh, what are you? Ooh, I kind of like that, but there's only one. Why is there only one? Why does there only have to be one? That always bums me out. I mean, sometimes you can get away with buying one, but not usually. Not unless it's something really super special. Ooh, I see some things I'm gonna dig for back there. I'll show you when I get them out. I need both hands. So let's finish up kind of scanning here and let me go back for those other ones. So here's what I found, a set of four of these really pretty blown glass wine glasses. They're a buck a piece because they're half price. There's green, red, purple, and blue. So we've got those. And then I found these really, really pretty. They've got that fiery orange red 
kind of coloring to them. I know my cart's looking a little scary, isn't it? This really vibrant, let's see if I can show it kind of up behind the light there. Yeah, super pretty, um, $1.99 each. They're big, nice glasses, so I picked those up also. And then underneath here, you can kind of see Amazie's really funky art glass. There's only five, but they look like they have marble underneath. So those were 99 cents each. So I picked those up too. All right, let's cruise through the dishes. All right, those are pretty. Ooh, they've got some, they got some uh, venturine down at the bottom. They are hand blown. There are, if I don't break them, there's four of them for $4.99. So I'm gonna pick those up. All right, oh, it's like a honeycomb pattern. Who makes that? I don't know. Soho Loft, I think that says. Oh, look at these. <laughs> Peacocks. Who makes it? Oh, they're Kate Spade. Now, see, there's, there's a name I don't mind dealing with. Now, they are not priced. Is this one priced? Oh, yes, yeah, $7.99 for five plates. So I'm sure they'll probably do these probably at the same price. And there's more. These are $3.99 for two. Uh, Kate Spade is a really good name. I will deal with plates for these. Then as I was getting ready to get up, I found these Lennox Merry and Bright dessert plates, which, let's see. Uh, oh my goodness, I can't get the, apparently I'm not the only one who has tried this. There we go. Oh look, it's even got the original paper in there. So that's what they look like. They are Christmas. And uh, they want $12.99, but those are totally worth it. Don't forget to stay all the way to the end. I'll show you again what I purchased and how much it is going to be worth when I list it or sell it. That's made in Thailand for $1.99. I think somebody was telling me that it was bad that I passed one of these up the other day. You know what? So for $1.99, I'm going to pick this guy up. I'm just a little in awe of how those are all taped together like that. Um, that's pretty awesome. <laughs> Scary, but awesome. All right, let's just take a little peek through the art. What are these? I see something peeking at me. Oh, they're just little frames. Hmm. I don't see anything screaming at me today. I'll dig a little bit and let you know if I find anything, but I need both of my hands. Okay, I found a couple of goodies in there. This was just intriguing. It's kind of a little lacquered thing. It's $3.99. It is signed. K... K... So it looks like K-Wood something like that. Anyway, so we got that. This is a pretty famous artist. Um, they did a lot of these different places of business or professions, I should say, careers. Tom Hinckley, Bill McClung. It's $2.99. This is for nail tech. Still lots of nail techs out there that that would appeal to. Okay, I think I have to put this under here. I actually... It's $2 for this whole little stack, and I just really wanted that one because that's my saying to my kids, so I'll either be selling or giving away all these other ones. Friends of Dogs or Friends of Mine 1992, Sally Huss. It's actually only 50 cents because it's half price. Uh, this is a watercolor uh, by Ken. Uh, 2008 but you know what who doesn't need a little vampire flying duck bat I mean come on I'm gonna put you down here also because you're a little heavier this is for holding jewelry that's $2.99 pick that up for my jewelry sale stuff this piece is just intriguing this is an old piece of textile in there so maybe one of you watching this knows something about 
this kind of thing. And it's half price at $2.50. So I am picking that up. So I'm back by where they keep the little electronics, where they keep the Scentsy warmers. And this one is a Scentsy. And it is only $2.50. So it's a teacher one. I think I'll go ahead and pick that one up. And I looked over and I see this 1977 nursery lamp. Let's see, it says 1977 on the base. Looks to be in pretty good condition. Everything's a little bit wobbly, but that can be tightened up. And I think this is supposed to spin. It reminds me of Small World. It's $5.99. I'm going to get it. And I know you probably see this one right behind it. I'm thinking I'm going to grab this one too. It is $6.99. So we're going to grab that one too. This shade right here, I think, will go on that little lamp. Really cute. And it's $1.99. So I'm going to pick that up.
This Goodwill never disappoints. I just loaded the car from one Goodwill and I've got two more to go to at least. So I'm kind of off track for getting to all of them, but that's okay. I'm going to be a little bit more discriminating at the other ones because I can get to those ones more often. Not that that really makes a difference in what I find. I don't even know why I think that way. Like if I see something good, I, I just, it has to go in the cart. <laughs> You know, Jordan, my daughter, told me that I need to be on a budget for these shopping trips. And I told her, like, I don't even know how I would do that because you can't leave awesome stuff on the shelf. I know my audience knows what I'm talking about. So I told her the remedy is it's not so much about how much I'm buying. It's the fact that I need to move it out of the house faster. So I have some plans for that. Stay tuned. For some super exciting stuff coming soon for you resellers. Okay, with that, I am off to another Goodwill, but you will see that in the next video. So for now, go be profitable and make it fun, and we'll see you on the next one.